My name's Catherine, and I have a confession to make. I'm a cliché. A walking cliché, in fact. I'm British, and I only drink tea. When you live in Reunion, what do you have to do to get a decent cuppa? Well, it turns out quite a lot, actually. Something that you take for granted when you grow up in Britain can become quite difficult once you live abroad. Now, I don't want to make a storm in a teacup, but having spent 20 of the past 25 years living in Reunion, there are many things that I love about my adopted home, including some great food and drink, but making tea is not a strong point on the island. There's a time I ordered tea with milk in a Saint-Denis cafe and was served a frothy concoction in a teapot with more milk than tea. In a fancy West Coast hotel, I once ordered plain tea and was brought lemon tea. I was given the explanation that plain tea wasn't served other than at breakfast because it wasn't, and I quote, classy enough. Another time, in the south of the island, after a Scottish-themed evening, I requested my favourite drink at the end of the meal, only to be told, do you think this is breakfast here or what? And I've given up ordering tea gourmand in restaurants, as I'm invariably served half a thimbleful of black, lukewarm, flavoured tea. New friends who invite me to the house must find me rather rude, as when they offer me a cuppa, they're often subjected to questioning about whether they have a kettle fresh milk, and most importantly, proper tea. Recently, when my elderly mother came to visit, we got into the habit of going on our outings with a thermos and some tea bags to ensure that she got a decent cup whenever and wherever. I'm pretty sure we got some funny looks as we sipped our refreshment by the side of the road in Plaine des Grecs or Salazie. When I travel, I take the opportunity to visit tea plantations in various far-flung corners of the globe and enjoy bringing some tea back to savour on my return. However, there can be problems elsewhere too, like the hot drink vending machines that use the same equipment to make tea and coffee, thus leaving you with a revolting beverage that doesn't know which drink it is. But for all the tea in China, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else at Reunion, and in recent years I've seen some improvement we do say in Britain that where there's tea, there's hope. So here's to a brilliant future for tea making in Reunion. Music